Howdy folks, how's it going? So okay, I just returned the Picanto and I'm back in my uh, BMW E30. I want to talk a bit about the something that's happened recently that if one of you could explain it or some of you could explain it to me, I, I'd be really, really grateful. If you remember a few weeks back, I did the, uh, actually no, actually, quite a while back, I did the unwrapping of my steering wheel and uh, the condition was actually quite good. It's still quite good uh, after 30 years. So anyway, that silly three minute video which I just posted up for the you know just for fun and um, didn't think much of it it's probably like something like what I'm gonna do now with this one has garnered 83,000 views I'm serious I I have no idea how that's happened and I'm getting comments from people like from all over the world telling me that uh, here before 1 million views or here before it gets uh, promoted again or whatever it is how is that happening because two videos down or three videos down I've got a beautiful tour of the BMW Museum in Munich okay a fantastic tour you have to watch that video please watch that video which took a lot longer to shoot a lot longer to do that video doesn't even have a thousand views it's like 600 or some something some pathetic number like that now I did all the tags the same um, I tagged them pretty much the same but the unwrapping of the steering wheel this car steering wheel 83,000 views and my beautiful tour of the BMW Museum which like I said took hours to do not even a thousand views I mean it's so disappointing it's so heartbreaking I thought I thought everybody would really really like that video because it's a really nice museum even if you're not a BMW enthusiast there's stuff in there that really it's so cool okay for want of a better expression 600 views and an unwrapping of a steering wheel <laughs> 83,000 so yeah I know it's something to do with algorithms um, I have no idea how it works because if I could get 83,000 views for all my videos wow that, that would be freaking awesome wouldn't it but no it's, it's becoming one of the most watched videos on my YouTube uh, following the uh, Ranger and the uh, Rush and the uh, Serena yeah, the Nissan Serena. So th those are the three top performing videos in, in my YouTube. But I, 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 it's beyond me. I don't know why that one did, this one did so well. Uh, are there more E30 enthusiasts out there than there are uh, museum enthusiasts? Are there more steering wheel enthusiasts out there than there are uh, displays in museum enthusiasts? I, I have no idea. But anyway, it's really nice to get back into my car. Um, I don't normally like leaving my car at a place when I collect a test car. But this time I had to because I was just so rushed. Um, good thing is the parking was secure. I would never leave it at the side of the road or anything like that because people don't, people steal old cars and uh, and even classic bikes. They, they they don't steal it to use it. They they steal it to strip it down and sell the parts because yeah, parts are getting hard to come by. So I would hate to see that happen to this car. But anyway, so yeah, the steering wheel I'm still using it. Somebody uh, did mention uh, slap on an M Tech very tempting yes it's a beautiful steering wheel the mtech steering wheel is very nice uh, i think it's the, the three spoke type but this is the four spoke the old four spoke and it's only got its horn on it you know one two three four horns and all of them work but um i might put in an mtech but you know what i'm really happy with this one and you know what it survived 30 years and it's still nice to hold it's still it's still quite grippy here i'll sh try and show it to you so yeah i kind of like it so i think i'll I think I'll be keeping I'll, I'll be keeping this one for a while if it's okay with you with you guys. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, if somebody could explain to me why a three-minute video of me unwrapping this, this steering wheel, which I actually dropped the freaking camera uh, at the end of it. That's why it's very anticlimactic. Sorry, yeah, somebody did mention it was very anticlimactic. I dropped the freaking camera and it ended so abruptly. But that one, that one gets 83,000 views. Whereas my walk around of the BMW Museum in Munich, you know, showing this, showing that, showing all the generations of 3 Series. Yeah, not even a thousand views, 600 something. Ah, I, I don't get it. I really, really don't get it. But uh, I'm gonna pause for a little while and I'm gonna show you the steering wheel after I've been using it for a while, okay? So stay tuned. Right, I'm back and I've stopped. So very quickly, uh, I've been using the car now without the uh, steering wrap. And, I mean, look at it for yourself. It's in very, very decent condition. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna still use it. Uh, the M-Tech, yeah, there's a little bit of pockmarks here and there, but come on, 30 years in our climate, heat, humidity, 
uh, rain, sun, shine, whatever. Yeah, so here's the interior. I love my old school interior. The, um, to me, old school interiors are still the best. I love analog dials. And uh, well, there's the steering wheel. So yeah, I think I'll be using this one for a while. So anyway, back to the matter at hand. Sorry, got a close up of my face there just now, which <laughs> might give you nightmares tonight. Um, yeah, the reason I bought this car is still the reason why I drive it. I mean, it's a five-speed manual in this day and age of automatics and CVTs and DS, DSC, no, DCTs. I still prefer a good old-fashioned five-speed manual, three pedals, you know, jamming in the gears, heel and towing, stuff like that. I mean, I don't drive like that all the time. I'm not driving like that now, so. Um, and like I said in my previous video, I don't use my cars every day. I don't commute to work, I don't do the 9 to 5, so yes, I can understand why the allure of the automatic gearbox is, will always be there and it's only going to get stronger because as our traffic gets worse, playing with a clutch, if you have a 9 to 5 job, is not the most appealing proposition. I, you know, I, I, I sympathize with that and I totally understand. So don't feel bad about getting an auto, but in that respect, if you're a true, true car enthusiast and you love driving, Try and get yourself an old school car with a five-speed manual or a six-speed manual. I keep thinking of the Suzuki Swift Sport. Suzuki is no longer uh, represented in Malaysia, which is a shame. But I keep thinking of the Suzuki Swift Sport with its six-speed manual. Uh, what a fun car. I mean, seriously, what a fun car. Um, there's been a topic going around lately of what, what, what should you get for your, for your first car. Okay, I started the topic. But I always feel that for your first car, you need to learn how to drive a manual, a stick shift before you graduate to an, something a little bit more plush and compliant with an automatic gearbox. It will make you appreciate that car a lot more than if you straight away jump into a Mercedes-Benz A250 or A45 AMG or some, something, a Volkswagen Golf R or Golf GTI. Yes, those are fantastic cars. I'm not saying they're not, they are. But you know what, graduate to it. Don't straight away jump into one, then you won't appreciate it. Because most times, off times, Modern day cars, you're not driving them, they're driving you. I, I, I believe that. There's so much going on in the background, you know, keeping you in the straight and narrow that you don't really, it's, it feels disconnected at times, okay? Maybe not the R models, like the Type R, the GTIs, the Golf Rs, the um, 845s, the AMGs, okay? Those still have a modicum of uh, a driving feel, okay? Driving feel. But more often than not, new cars, you're not going to get this kind of driving feel anymore and you never will. Sorry. New cars will not allow you to have that driving feel anymore because regulation says you have to have such and such things in the car, you know, to keep you alive, keep you safe, keep you on the road. So even things like this all-round vision that, that you see right now, this, this all-round visibility, possibly not in the future anymore because of regulations, making making sure a, uh, a and B and C pillars are a certain weight and a certain uh, strength to it. So, yeah, you're not gonna get you, you're not gonna get this anymore. Uh, pop-up headlights are gone because of pedestrian safety. You you can't have pop-up headlights anymore. So, a lot of car tech, old school car tech, is going the way of the dodo because of regulations and because of uh, pedestrian safety, occupant safety whatever so it um, get yourself an old school car it can even be a satria 1.3 manual which you can pick up for about what five six k these days these those cars are gonna really really let you feel what it's like to drive you you know that song you've lost the, you've lost that loving feeling yeah we've lost that driving feeling with with, uh, with new cars so Corolla KE70 or, a, or, or a, even a freaking Datsun 120Y with its old school gauges and the ones that pop out, you know, freaking awesome. Get something like that. You are gonna, you are gonna really, really feel what it's like to drive. Really, if you really like to drive, that's how you get that driving feeling back. You need something old school. And then, uh, graduate to something better. Because then you'll appreciate that even more. But, uh, that said, uh, this cop just pulled out in front of me. Bloody hell. <laughs> okay, so that said, if you can, if you already got an automatic car for your day-to-day -day use, wonderful. 
get something a little bit old school for the weekend drives weekend drives with the boys you know something something like that and uh, you won't regret it really you can buy them cash you can't get loans for them anymore anyway you can buy them cash and then whatever you spend whatever you spend on it I mean check that out how, how cool is that get something like that why not so awesome whoever you are I salute you I love that that's gone so yeah get get some oh hello that's my hand okay sorry my hands in front of the camera can you can you hear me okay give me a second Alrighty, hold on a sec. Sorry about that. Should have paused, but never mind. I'm back again. So yeah, get something old school, something that it's gonna impart the feeling of driving. Make sure it's a manual. Don't get an old school auto. I mean, there's no no point. Speaking of which, I've got something new coming up. Something new and old school coming up. So you're gonna have to stay tuned for that. Some of you already know what one of them is. But what if I told you there are two? Yeah, it's gonna be crazy lately. But hey, YOLO, you know, you only live once, do stuff that makes you happy. I collect more toy cars, and uh, I don't collect a lot of real cars, but yeah, I went and got something else lately. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, get yourself something cool, get yourself something old school, three pedals, five speed manual gearbox, that doesn't have to be speed six, five speed manual gearbox. Get back to that driving feeling. No driver aids, no airbags, no ABS, no EBD, nothing. Raw, basic, like this car. I got air conditioning, okay. <laughs> that's that's a necessity in Malaysia, not, not a luxury. But there used to be cars that were sold without aircon, yes, because Malaysia used to be a lot cooler than it was before. Climate, climactic, what? Climactic. Climate wise, Malaysia used to be a lot cooler. It really did. I, I remember waking up when I was a kid and seeing dew. On the uh, on the grass outside and dew on the leaves some people don't even know what dew is anymore because it's gone I mean by 9 a.m. it's scorching hot but yeah there used to be mist uh, covering the um, the ground right here in PJ and KL there used to be mist no more sometimes you don't even get mist in Gunting Highlands anymore or Cameron Islands for that matter so it's all gone but uh, yeah cars used to come without air conditioning that was an optional extra these days it's standard it's a standard fitment because we cannot live without air conditioning in Malaysia you'll die you'll seriously die you'll get heat stroke and die so okay anyway just wanted to talk to you guys for a while and uh, tell you all what's going on in the meantime take care be cool stay tuned for my update of my latest acquisition uh, I think you're gonna I think you're gonna like this one thank you always say thank you okay I mean people let you cut out and all that say thank you it doesn't cost you anything and you won't waste any time just raise your hand say thank you okay <laughs> take care y'all bye bye